Okay, so I've made games in different programming languages, different engines within different themes, but there's one thing that I haven't touched yet. Writing code in a different world language. There are two ways to code in a language that is not English. One is that you comment the code in another language while writing the code in English. Another is that you just write the code in another language and reduce as much English as you possibly can. The latter is the route that I'll be taking. So now what game are we making? I think we'll just create a bullet hell game, as that shouldn't be that hard to code as I made a tutorial space for that. And I'm torturing myself anyway. As for the time frame, I think I'll give myself about probably till the end of the day. Now there's one thing left. Which world language will we be coding in today? I could choose Spanish, but that won't be fun because I understand some of it. I want the code to be unreadable to me. I want to be illiterate. I want to start from square one. So the anime demon inside my soul forced me to code the game in Japanese. The question is, will I learn anything by doing this challenge at all? And if so, how much? Alright, first thing of the day. It's time. So... So yeah, let's just take this and just, and just casually slap it in there. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, here's Visual Studio. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Here is Visual Studio. Oh god, it's even... Oh boy, this is just gonna be hell. I don't even know what this means. What, what's this here? What is, what is this? What does that mean? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you have to have movement. I guess this makes sense. I'll just put this into the game there. Let's just copy this as a public quote, uh, speed. And let me see if I actually know what this means, because I probably don't even know what it means. Also, because everything has to be ridiculously large, I guess I'll... <laughs> so I can actually see what it is. Um, I also need a public float for... What else do I need? Is it just speed, or is, it th is that it? Okay, so this is a problem. It looks like it looks like, for example, um, the vector three can't add vector twos. So if I make this a vector two, it will return. I think it will return the errors in Japanese. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh god! <laughs> so yeah, and I have no idea how to read that. And I don't think you can just copy and paste it, so yeah, that really is kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh, I guess we'll need HP, so that's probably a good idea to add HP. Um, let me look at, um, how, what it is called. Health. Health. Let's just take this one. Uh, so yeah, this variable is starting with health, and this variable is health. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm not learning anything by doing this challenge. I'm not even associating anything. <laughs> All I know is that <laughs> this is health. <laughs> Probably because I can't read kanji. Sudoku. <laughs> uh, Kenki. Oh, frick, I already forgot it all. Oh shoot, I have to actually give the name of the bullet, so I have to actually search up this <laughs> bullet. Dun, dun. That's, that's great, that's great, um, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, so that's why it's called Danganronpa, because Danga means bullet, that is so big brain there.
All right, let's see if this works. I can successfully move my player. Does the player clamp though? That is something I don't think it's clamping. It's so like, okay, it's at negative 10. Looks like I can move it further. No, if I move it further, it doesn't change. So the clamping really should change. It really should be more like eight, nine, maybe nine. Uh, I could change the clamping of this one to maybe like five. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. Other uh, than the fact that I'm probably not even running anything. Oh well, we have a player. Uh, so now it's time to make the bullets. Um, I didn't know what a bullet is. Uh, should be this thing here. Gun gun. For some reason, that is the only Japanese word I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiten. Rotation. Kaiten. All right, so here's my Duncan Duncan scripto. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I literally don't know. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I don't know. Okay, well at least it moves. It moves the way I intended it to. And if we rotate it 45 degrees, then we can uh, rotate it 45 degrees. All right, and we can change the speed to a bit faster, maybe like five. We can change that to a bit faster, and looks like it changes. Cool, so now that is a lot more convenient. Thank God. So now we need to make the bullet spawner, and the bullet spawner is the most <laughs> tedious crap that I'm gonna be stressed about. Also, I need to make a uh, folder for prefabs, so let me just figure out what that is real quickly. I love how I'm not even using I'm not even using the Japanese keyboard to type in the words because I have no idea. I, I'm just I'm just copying it from Google Translate. Yeah, th this is not very effective. <laughs> this is effective if you already know some Japanese, but this is not very effective. At all, at all, I tell you. Oh god, this is not fun. I don't know if I could read what I literally just have right now. I could, I, I could just read it. But I need Google Translate to read this. I know, I know this means item, but I really don't know what it's called. It's called... Oh, okay. uh, this is Dungan no Kami. So basically... Each Komoku of... Of Dangan no Kami. <laughs> each one. I instantiate it <laughs> and then I calculate the rotation or the you know what screw this I'm not, I, I might as well not even try to remember it okay so it looks like ka means is that's interesting random is if you know Scene game. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, what the hell? And I have no idea what's causing the error. 
<laughs> oh god, this is just great. Uh, oh, that's why this is already okay. So we don't want that in the scene. We don't want no. We don't want this in the scene. But oh, we do want this in the scene. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah, we have to do assets. There we go. That makes more sense, and hopefully it should. Okay, that's not bad. Yep, it does work, and I can change the cooldown, and we have ourselves a successful bullet spawner. Um, except, why can't I move the player? Okay, I can move the player. But obviously, they're not going to hit the player. And that's because, well, um, yeah. Oh, I also probably also need a bullet speed. Yeah, setting the bullet speed from the script would actually be very convenient. Uh, so, I'll just do that then. Uh, what is this player Sue's yeah here this is speed for sure I'll put that in the manager here I'll put um, something speed uh, yeah Danga no speed yeah Danga no and I think it's of speed yeah that makes the most sense <laughs> I'm pretty sure every native Japanese viewer is just like no no please don't do this please don't don't do this you're Yeah, we have the speed there. And now, yep, the bulls are shooting incredibly fast at random. Well, let me enable random. Ooh, now that is a lot more interesting. That is a lot more harder. Jesus, peace. Okay, it's already becoming very interesting, though I haven't set up so the player can die. So, meh. Um, other than that, it's pretty basic, yeah. Almost like a just shapes and beats clone. If we turn it up right, yeah. Yep. Now you have the perfect, perfect environment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Give things some post processing, and you have yourself a simple game. <laughs> so let's see what happens if I hit some bullets. Do I die? Does it restart? No, it doesn't. It doesn't restart at all. Well, is the bullets are the bullets triggered? Um, it, box collider's not on trigger. Are these bullets? These bullets have triggers, so I don't understand why there's no coll collision. Oh, I need a rigid body. Is that the case? Yeah, I need a rigid body. Okay. In this case, it would have to be kinematic. <sighs> God. Um, yep, I can actually die. So if I collide, wait, once? Oh, there's no cooldown for help. There's no cooldown for collisions. So that means that once the bullet passes through, just yeah. Um, actually, it would be smarter. Let me let me just yeah. I'm just gonna yeah. I'll just destroy the actually instead of a cooldown, we could just destroy the bullet and all would be said and done. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm pretty much done. The only thing I need to add is, uh, well, uh, pretty much just... I mean, it works as of now. I just need to add a health bar and some sound effects, and I should be done with this challenge once and for all. Um, so yeah. Actually, let me add post-processing and see what it's like with that. Let's add it. Alright, so it looks like I added, I added some post-processing. I also added some UI up here, um, so you can see your health at the moment. Um, I feel a bit tired to be adding, um, I don't think I'm going to add any, any sound effects. I don't even think I'm going to even release this game to the public, but yeah, that was a little fun challenge. Um, my brain's going insane. I probably should do something else. Phew, this is Samuel in the future, and my, my, if I didn't stop there, the challenge might have actually fried my brain. Jeez, man. Now I know what it feels like when non-English speakers have to code. Non-English speakers, I send my condolences. Seriously, how the heck do you manage to do it? It's even more difficult if your writing system isn't the, in the Latin alphabet. Just, just how? How? Are you going insane right now? Are you going crazy? So yeah, I managed to finish a game without sound effects well before the day was over. But we all know what the real question is. Is this a reliable way to learn a language? If you're an absolute beginner, definitely not. However, if you're already learning the language, ideally at an intermediate level, this could be a chance to improve your vocabulary and think about coding in a different way. 
Anyway, I'm going to go now. But before I do, I have a challenge for you all. Make a game in another world language that is not your native language. Or, you can't do that. We must send sympathy to all non-English speaking programmers. So make a video to send your condolences and I'll link it in the end card. If you won't do it for me, do it for Jonas. Bonus points if the language is an entirely different writing system. Even more points if you can't read anything. Even more points if you do it during a game jam. Even more points if it's an excluded language with little native speakers, possibly on an island in the middle of nowhere. Then again, most of you probably aren't capable enough. Oh, and if you are not an English speaker, have fun watching the blood fire. I haven't used Scratch in a while. I didn't know they had game jams. Let's see what Scratch 3.0 is like now. Wait a second, is this a globe icon? Are these multiple languages? Is an option Japanese? Is this Kaji? Oh no. God, please no, I don't have to do this challenge again. Oh no.